what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? New York-based actress Jordana Grolnick is the second woman in a week, one week, to accuse former President George H.W. Bush of sexual harassment. Earlier in the week yesterday, remember, Heather Lynn, actress, also accused George H.W. Bush of sexual harassment. Man, you know the body count is going to continue to mount up, right? This is just the beginning. Remember, y'all, this man is 93 years old. He was once the president of the United States of America. He's been rich for a long, long, long time. He's owned businesses for a long time. Can you imagine the number of women that are about to come out? It could quite possibly eclipse the number that Harvey Weinstein owns right now. I think he's up to 50-something. He's 50, He's up there. Oh, man. Boy, this is the year to get sexual predators. They going down. I mean, the most powerful ones. I mean, they, they got one at Amazon <laughs> a few days ago. They going down, man. Left and right. Check out what George W. Bush's spokesperson had to say about these accusations. At age 93, President Bush has been confined to a wheelchair for roughly five years, so his arm falls on the lower waist of people with whom he take pictures. <laughs> to try to put people at ease, the President routinely tells the same joke, and on occasion, he has patted women's rear in what he intended to be a good-natured manner. <laughs> this is something. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah, he did it, but, you know, he was just being nice, and he was just trying to be polite, trying to put the women at ease. If his arm naturally falls to people's waistline that he takes pictures with. I wonder how many men are going to come forward. <laughs> wonder has he, has he ever taken a picture with Donald Trump in his wheelchair? <laughs> that would explain why Donald Trump acts so girly. Yeah. Amazing, y'all. He also said this. The spokesperson said this. Some have seen it as innocent. Others clearly view it as inappropriate. To anyone he has offended, President Bush apologizes most sincerely. You know, this is a country full of sick people. I say this because sexual harassment is something that we're comfortable with in this nation. Do you know how many rape kits have gone uh, uninvestigated at police forces all over the country? They said a number is as high as like not the 90 percentage. It's like the 90 percentile like of cases that have not been, uh, the cases that have not been uh, looked at. They haven't investigated the cases. They haven't checked the rape kits at all. So this country does not put a premium on sexual assault at all. And that is amazing because over half of this country are females. And I would think that because women give life, that we would be more protective of our women. I would also think that because women are so vocal that more women would stand up against sexual harassment. And right now, more women are standing up. More women are being 
a lot more vocal about sexual harassment. That's a good thing. Listen, man, it's time to stop telling women to be more careful. And I guess we can't really stop, but there needs to be a double approach here where we tell our women to be more careful. It would be nice if we can get to a point to where we don't even have to tell women, watch how you dress, watch where you go, watch what you say, watch the company you keep. It would be nice if we could just get that message to our boys, not men, because if we can get it to our boys, the boys would grow up to be respectful men. So we can get that message to our boys early on that sexual harassment is for suckers. I mean, that's a chump game. That's what suckers do. That's what insecure men like Donald Trump do. You know, the kind that got to pay for pussy. That's what they do. They do it because they can't get it with their conversation. They got to talk about how much money they got and they got to talk about their education and they got to try to put people down and lift themselves up to feel important. They can't hold a decent conversation. Those are the same guys who often hide behind text messages and emails because they have no conversation. They have no game whatsoever. Very insecure dudes. Some of them are listening to this message right now and they're giving my video a thumbs down. <laughs> but that's okay. I wish you to get, we can get to the point where I can see like who gave it a thumbs down just so I can know the vibe of people when I drop certain videos. I can really know who I'm dealing with. We aren't there yet, but someday I do believe we'll get there. But it is truly amazing how cavalier we are about sexual harassment. We just, I mean, and all of us got women in our family. We all got females. We all got girls in our families. And it's crazy how, if you're not a sexual predator, how hard you try to protect those women. But then when it happened to other women, we're not so protective. It's like, we like to blame the victim. We do it way too much, man. We blame the victim over and over and over again. I've read stuff online where people were making jokes about, well, he's an old man, you know, he ain't got that much long, longer. You know, he was probably touching her and didn't even know he was touching her. I mean, he's an old man, you know, give him a break. Get an old guy a break. I didn't know the old guy had it in him. Yeah, the old guy had him in him because he's a dirty old man. And he's had it in him for a long time. He's been an old man for a long time. He's 93 years old. So he's been an old man for at least 20 years. He's been doing this for a long time. That's two women in one week. Those are just the ones who came forward. And some others will come forward. But think how many who are still not going to come forward because they're, they're afraid or they're embarrassed. That's cold-blooded, man. I'm telling you, man, we got to do a better job, man. A nation is only as healthy as its woman is, as the women who bring the babies into the world. Think about what I'm saying. How are you going to have a healthy, how are you going to have healthy sons and how are you going to have healthy daughters if the mothers have been abused? You know, uh, it's going to play, it's going to have some type of psychological effect on her and how she raised her son and her daughter. You know, how she navigated in the world. It's going to have some type of impact, negative impact on her trust of others. We're only as healthy as our women are. Y'all, we got, got to understand it, man. Some of y'all don't want to understand it. I get it. Some of y'all are women haters. Some of y'all have had bad experiences, women, over and over and over again, and you blame women. But I'm telling you, if you one of those per people that ain't never had a good relationship with a woman, you the problem, man, because there's some good women out there. So maybe you're just picking the wrong ones, or you picked the right ones, and you was the, you was the bad person in the relationship. You the one destroyed the relationship. Just like you have women 
who are always saying man ain't nothing, man ain't nothing, but they gravitate toward low down, nothing, no good men. And so they judge all men by that standard. So it's them who is the problem. They are the problem because they have a bad, uh, they have bad judgment when choosing a mate. So if you have a bad judgment, if you go out there and, you know, you, you're looking for a car and you go buy your car from some little old lot on the corner uh, that has a, a painted on sign and, you know, the car is as is, you pick it up, you know, you put your $800 down and you drive off and then the motor fall out of that joker and then you start being mad about it, man, you asked for that. You went and bought a lemon. Look what you look where you bought your car from. And it says as is. Some of us are going into relationships, getting these as is relationships. <laughs> these relationships with no warranties. <laughs> we got to do better, man. We got to do better. And I'm laughing at that. I'm not laughing at sexual harassment because that's a serious thing. I take that very, very seriously. Apparently, Barbara Bush was an accomplice to this because she was standing there in each case, each woman said that Barbara Bush was present when George Bush touched them, groped them, and she acknowledged that they were being groped. And she didn't do anything about it. She just kind of brushed it off. So how complicit has she been? And how many more women do she actually know about? Here's what I want to know in the land of liberty and justice for all. Are the police going to arrest him like they did Bill Cosby? And is the prosecutor going to charge him with sex crimes like they did Bill Cosby? I know he's a 93-year-old cripple and the court proceedings could kill him. But I say take him to court because that's what happens when you break the law. No one should be above justice, not even a former president of the United States of America. His mama should be embarrassed and his daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.